Happy Wednesday! If I was very clever, I would have written a Wonderland song for you guys. Um, tonight is a port connection. Hey guys, hey Kelly, hey Ho! Thank you so much for joining. Hope is tonight's guest. She is a voice actress. She stars in the animated series Boss Baby for DreamWorks. She plays the mom. She's also one of the Winx girls, which is amazing. And um, Hope is the girl of many voices. She started the Voice Actors Network about a decade ago, and that's how we originally met. Um, she's also in the Hey Arnold Jungle movie. But today, it is all about the music. So I'm going to go ahead and invite Hope to stream. Let's see. Hey, Hope. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jonathan. How's it going, my sweet? Are you talking to me? Yes. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you, dude. Oh, yes. I'm talking to you. It's so interesting being on the other side to your show. It's lovely. And um, this is my, I have to say, this is my first live. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we popped your live cherry. Well, welcome. I, I popped my live cherry. Um, I like so the little fire. You you have a little fire going in the background? It's There's nice. a fire. I mean, you know, it's like the fireside chats, you know, we'll just all it. gather around the fire. <laughs> nice and, and cozy. You, you just look like you're in a gorgeous stage. If you could only see, well, you could see. Maybe later I'll, I'll treat you to the, to the domain, the casa. You'll give us the full yeah. tour. You, you throw on a, we call it, throw a schmata on anything and you've got like, you know, a nice backdrop. Oh, girl, that is not just any schmata. That is the red velvet schmata. It's, it's gorgeous. Nice red velvet schmata, exactly. It's nice. It's, it's a tactile. This is not just an it's, IG Live. It's, no, like it's a, totally tactile. I can't, yeah, IG Live. It's too pixelated and, yeah. <laughs> I like so to this your face, honey. How, how's your week going? My week is going good. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, you know, doing it. Absolutely. Like you are, you know? Yeah, you know. The auditions, the... The life, yeah. The parenting. The, the parenting. Trying to squeeze in rehearsal time for this show, which I'm so glad because I, to be completely honest, since COVID hit, I, it's just been work, family, and, you know, just trying to keep sane, which has included more downtime and not necessarily carving out a ton of time to practice and rehearse. Uh, I think I did play a couple songs one time, but, for you know, on a show, but pretty much um haven't picked up the guitar much so you seen there's a, this was, yeah it was such a great opportunity dust. to there's get a chance yeah there was like <sighs> oh my mine has some dust too um i know it's yeah. weird because like you think oh we're you know we all have we, you think you have more time yeah but it's like i don't feel like i have any more time during this time we've been in you know it's because yeah. what we do is uh go in our little studios and just do our work and auditions. Right. So, yeah, you know. Which we're grateful for. Which it's Boss so Baby, no, you guys just finished season four of Boss Baby, season right? Season four, right. So we don't know what's going on. Anything in the like, works. <laughs> we're, we're not at liberties, but who knows? Who knows, you know? Yeah. The movie's well, coming out, which we're not in, but you know, uh, it is coming out soon, so. That's good. You know, movies feed TV shows. So, and your work with yeah. my mom is just great. I love it. We had JP Carliak, who's Boss Baby on the show love a him. couple months ago as well. So that was great. He is and, so um, amazing. Yeah. He is so amazing. Fun. So, um, so yeah, I, I mean, who, do you want to start us off tonight? Would you like I'm to? Gonna, I am to honored to start us off on my debut in the uh, hey. Allison's uh, Wonderland Musical Lounge. <laughs> And um, it's we do I'm, need I'm, some I'm, kind of snappy. snappy I, name well, funny things. you should say that. No, yes, snappy would be great. But I, I have my own little snaps. I've got my uh, my little percussion. So uh, hey, Peyton. I'm gonna do a song uh, that's uh, that's kind of uh, it's like my my theme. You know, I, I find myself saying this a lot. So I had to write a song about it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm intrigued. Going to the 
just saying. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of lonely. Hello? Tips were for street performers only back in my day. I couldn't wait for the mail. The kind that came in a letter. I'd wait around all day for a call. The phone was attached to the wall back in my day. I'd listen to the same old record and memorize the song for hours long. So much time to kill. Parents paid our bills. You know, we don't have the the audience to see, but I I feel you out there. So thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, and thank I'm you, Allison. Extra loud, noise. Allison. You're my you're you. my captive audience. You're like right there. I'm like, yay! <laughs> yeah, it's All kind right. of weird being on this side of the glass because you're like, oh yeah, um, I'm like the visual audience. I'm yeah. Like, Too bad um there is that delay because yeah, I was clapping and tapping along. Hopefully, I wasn't uh, thrown off your. Beat. No, I was like. <laughs> Oh my God, there's a technical difficulty. Like, you know, we're so used to that. There's a technical dis. Anyhow. All right. So um, I have so many questions about that song, though. I mean, you know, just first of all, you didn't carry around water? No. Because some of us are older than um, back in the days when I went to school and uh, uh, we, literally nobody carried water. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's like, I remember I had a roommate. Uh, back in the 80s uh and she like said oh i have to drink water for like dietary reasons i'm like what do you mean like you're not a biker like bikers had water right yeah I'm like, you're not a biker but it was so bizarre and then all of a sudden what like evian came out and like yeah. every actor everybody was like walking around with water and i'm like oh my god i actually need water like we need it yeah so, it's actually yeah it's healthy it's, so it's a healthy thing so yeah and now we obsess about water so i think that yeah that song i love that song Thank cheers you cheers it. water cheers oh yeah i know water Speak break everybody I water break. My I water break. so uh you're gonna entertain me now back in my day okay so this song is called bigger heart you know i'm like trying to frame the guitar in but it is cropped so tightly i don't know if i'm able to make that happen so just know that i swear there's a guitar down. <laughs> um so this song is called bigger heart if you haven't seen the music video for it check it out it's fully animated and it's so cute Ooh. um yeah here we go And 
there's a hole that lets him undig. Hey, 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 I'll take a mortgage out upon my soul and I'll fix it up with paper mache. After the storm, the wind, the lightning and rain, can I build a heart and withstand all the pain? I may give a shelter for two with some scraps of paper and a bit of Dolly Parton, like I could hear her singing your song, you know, she'd be like, I could hear her. Should yeah. I have her, my people call, contact I Dolly? Dolly is pretty, you know, I've heard she's, she's, she's awesome. awesome and open. I think she'd do it now. <laughs> okay. Why not? We'll get Dolly on the show. And get see Dolly on the show. She's not doing anything. She only writes a song a day, I heard. <laughs> she writes a song That's a day. That's for life though. I mean, you know, if you didn't have anything else to do. She's amazing. No, she does a lot, uh, but she also somehow, right. I guess, it's a song a day. Um, that was beautiful. I love that song. And I hear the harmony, like I'm dying to do the harmony with you, but there's that delay. So it's like, you know what? Work. Our next show will have to be live. So we're going to have to do it live. Oh, it will be. Absolutely. Um, right. So my son's a big fan of uh, Winx Club. Do you want to talk just for a second about Winx Club? Oh my God. <laughs> I love him. He, so he likes those, those girls in those little outfits, huh? Yeah. No wonder I know. he's a fan. <laughs> they do. They're a little skimpy, and they're in yeah. the, my character, Sona, uh, lived under the sea, um, a sea creature. And um, I just remember she she was it was like a lot of fun. It was years ago, um, but I remember the voice. And oh. um, I remember, just like I said, the the outfits are definitely revealing <laughs> and free. You feel very free at the characters, and they're adorable. <laughs> but you did wear that too. Well, to get into cost to character, I always wear what I'm wearing. So absolutely, it was just a dream come true. <laughs> no, but it was fun. Um, and now they're they, making a live action movie. Oh my God, didn't even know. Thank you for telling me. Oh my yeah. God. I had um, no idea. Whoa. Oh, very cool. So James tell Cameron, us about, what was that? Is James Cameron directing it? Because it's a lot of scene. I think it's just announced at this point, but... Okay. Um, Let's Talk Cartoons posted about it. So you could go on there to find it. I'll go and find out. You could use the Googles. Okay. But, um, so tell us about your next song. Oh, my next song, I think I'm going to, look at, I'm like, I think I'm going to do. Um, Let me check my set list. I'm like, I know, I'm like, I only have four. Wait, I think uh, I was going to try something new, um, which is always scary. But, you know, you got to do, you got to do a new song. You always have to. And I just wrote this. Uh, pretty recently after my my mama passed away so that's part of life part of life but you um it's hard but you got to write music about it so i always everything inspires something so um part of it was is inspired by her so that's the song it is all right here it goes Every time I see your face, I am missing your embrace. And then I cry, part of me dies. Your heart was always out of reach. Was that what you meant to teach? No matter how I cried, I couldn't say goodbye. You made me feel so good. 
No one else ever could love me from the inside. Get me on the outside, feeling out an emptiness. Maybe I am just depressed. I close my eyes. How hard I try. I see a bird and think of you. The ocean fills your eyes so blue. I push that far behind. All of my crazy times. about your mom well it was inspired it's not completely yeah. like, it's like the jumping off point and then yeah combined with other things so but yeah inspired <laughs> thank you thanks, thanks. For sharing thanks it is funny that we are the only ones able to I know, like, clap it's like <laughs> what is the sound of one person clapping well it's this <laughs> It's better than no one clapping. It's better than no one clapping. Oh, That's yay. Nice. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> and hearts are awesome. It's, I know. We appreciate the love, guys. Um, so the next song that I'm going to play, actually, is because you played a song about your mom, I'm going to play a song that I wrote for my son. Um, I think I wrote the song when he was about one year old. And um, This is on your CD, isn't it? Yeah. I love I, this. I, 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 I know. Love this is for you. Um, Thank you. You know, it's like it, when you have a child, it just breaks you open and it breaks you in so many ways. <laughs> and you really understand, you come to terms with your own mora morta mortality um, and morality, <laughs> but especially your mortality because it really makes the whole circle of life just abundantly clear. So um, this song is called Tiny Hands, Tiny Heart. I'm not sure if this is the one I sent you, Jeff. I probably, I mean, it's beautiful. Oh. It's <laughs> Rest your cheek on my chair. Tiny hands, tiny heart beating so fast. Each breath you take, you're growing up, humming good. I want to make it last, but you can't hold on all oh, the moment is through. Every sunrise there's a new setting sun. I never knew time till the day you were born. Oh, so beautiful. Didn't know what to expect, how I changed, how I needed to dig deeper, and what I want would rearrange and have time. But just keep slipping through my fingers, but you can't hold on all the moment is gone. Every sunrise has a new setting sun. I never knew time till the day you thought oh so beautiful. Now my tomorrow's belong to you, and everything still so. Just keep searching for the truth and let the circle pull you through. Cause tomorrow belongs to you. And now your 
taking your first step. Hold my hand. I know you won't forever. I'm letting go and breathing in. No, I try to leave the world a little better, but you can't hold on. Again, I hear the harmonies. I want to sing with you. Aww. And I hear Jewel doing that song. Let's get so, her on. Okay, Let's so she'll be available. She's a, she used to live in her car, so why can't she just do a song by somebody else? Um, you know, one was, of the first songs I learned um, on the guitar, actually, in high school, my friend Sarah from high school is on the stream right now. I don't know if you ever, is like, you know, remember, dreams last so long even after you're gone so if that could be she's definitely an inspiration to me oh i, I hear it i hear it in that fighting. now let me ask you this that song um has your son like does he does he know that song is it like oh mom i love that song or how does he feel about it yeah um he 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 does like it that when he was a little baby and we were recording the album i should do a compilation who would always be like more album <laughs> more album more he, he used to do sign language and like this was like more so he'd be like more album more album um and he would just always be in the car and so he we would listen to it in the car and it would help him fall asleep so i think it's i guess that's a good thing that's a really good thing it's, it's, it's soothing right mom's voice is like soothing but yeah um you know he wasn't like yay so no um and he's still five so he's I, he's, he might even be watching from the other room. What do I, I don't know. He, he doesn't have that opinion yet of like, yeah, because because I was I think I mentioned yeah. like my kid who's fourteen. Oh. Um, I wrote him a song called "My Little Gingy" because he has you know he's a gingy. They call him gingies or gingies or whatever. Gingers. Ginger, gingers, red hair because oh. he has red hair. And so I wrote yeah. him this song called "My Little Gingy," and I used to sing it all the time. And then one day, not a, well, like about five years ago, he's like, "Mom, I hate." that song don't you ever sing that song in my presence again i if you do i'm gonna just, like if i see it on a cd because i have a, i have it on my cd i'm like oh my gosh i'm hiding my cds because it's such a sweet song and he has such an embarrassment about it because you know when you're oh my do you think that that is a sign do you see who just joined the stream oh my god ginger, ginger snap. snap oh my god ginger that is, snap that's so bizarre that is just that's absolutely amazing we, ginger um ginger. we were just talking about a song hope broke about yes. your son who's a ginger and you popped on the stream um <laughs> different season yeah it's yeah, it's, it's just amazing. funny so someday hopefully when he's older out of the teen stage he'll be like mom you remember that song like yeah or maybe he well, just and won't your care son, your son sam's like kind of a big deal right i mean well, he's like starred in Several animated series he's, has his own. You, he's a he has his own, Yeah, he's very big. I, I, no, I mean he's not like big, but he he's worked a lot. But he I mean, so he's worked a lot, but he still uh, you know he busts my balls when I try to sing my song about him. So that that's you know it's kind of it's harsh. It, it hurt. It hurts. You know it hurts. It hurts. 
Well, you, I think you got the validation um, that thank you're you. with Ginger joining the stream. Yeah, so. Ginger, someday I will Ginger, do Ginger, thank you. Anyhow, thank you. Um, okay, well, I'm going to do a sweet me little mellow song, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm just going to grab my water, too, go, back oh, there. Oh, please get your water. I'm going to yak the yak. You intro that. that. I'm going to yak the yak. So um, here's a song from my, um, my recent last year. I can't believe it was a year ago. I came out with a CD called my, uh, Far Sorry, and um, I wrote a song. And it's actually, I have a video, animated video to go with it. And the animation's by, it, did you see it? Uh, yeah, poor Little Raccoon? Sure. Poor Little Raccoon. It's really, the animation's amazing. This girl, Carrie McCool, amazing. Anyhow, so I'm going to play my song, okay? Okay. Like, like anybody has a choice. They're here. Okay. <laughs> poor little raccoon. Poor little raccoon. He's trying to capture the moon. Poor little raccoon. Poor little raccoon, poor little raccoon, went outside for a walk and fell in love with the moon. He never ever literally looked up before, looking for a garbage at someone's back door, while a dog was chasing him across the street. The full moon shone the way upon his feet. Poor little raccoon, poor lovesick raccoon. He's now in love with that moon. Poor little I was driving down Laurel Canyon. I saw a little raccoon, which are, you smell them usually. You don't always see them. And I was thinking, I, I don't know, whatever, you know. We have a backyard <laughs> visitor. He will come and just, we have an avocado tree and he comes <gasps> and he just like tears into the avocados. There's just chunks of fleshy avocados oh. everywhere. I know that was amazing. Hope, is that song on your Instagram? Yes, it is. It is okay, on my Instagram. Great. I'm I'll go and I'll go to your page after and I'll share it to my stories for Thanks. everybody that wants well, to see thank it. Thank you. Make sure if you're not already following Hope, um, make sure to follow her because um, she's always putting out music and lots of other good stuff. So, yay. yay. Hey, Rep Striker. Hey, Chris. Hey, Cimmerly Imagination <laughs> Studios. Aww, Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> this is a, a nice little intimate, um, well, intimate stream tonight, but I love I'm enjoying it. it. I just, this is really fun. It's super fun. It's fun to, I mean, to, yeah, to like go Catch back. And this is what people used to do, remember? <laughs> yeah, except I would be like in I, real life. Like in real life, what we used to do a year ago. So it's kind of nice. It's nice. Thank you. So nice. Oh, thanks, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for, me, the, idea. Thanks for the idea. This is genius. I, I would like to do this more. Um, so this next song I'm going to play for you guys is called Cartwheels, and it was off my latest album. Mm -hmm. It is a song just about coming into your own and having fun because isn't that what life's about, right? Do a cartwheel. Backstage at BuzzFeed, graffiti on the shelves, 
We get all dressed up to be ourselves. Laura's doing makeup. I'm in her hand. She's the prettiest boy in the mission and wearing to the men. I don't need to look pretty. Just want to be bolder. The woman I am and the girl I was. Together getting older. Doing cartwheels through the air with my hands pressed in the earth. I've been growing out of the need to hustle for my work. Not really sure who will step on stage, but I know I'm not afraid to act my age. To act my age. Get ready to take that leap of faith. Despite our best efforts, we've made all the mistakes. Making here before you is the only way to feel. I don't need you to like me, just have to be real. So don't bother hiding these flaws with concealer. I'm learning how to love that girl I like to see in the mirror. Doing cartwheels through the air with my hands. I've been growing out of the need to hustle for my work. Not really sure who will step on stage, but I know I'm not afraid to act my age. To act my age. And now everyone's on my side. From where I started, it's a different vibe. Silhouettes of black and white, time stands still. Going on the stage doesn't mean that we're here just for you. Beautiful, Allison. I was Thank thinking of the last time I did a cartwheel. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, really? I think I need to because I, I think I'm actually acting my age too much. So I need to actually go back a little, go back to the age that your song refers to, and try to see if I can even do a cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> like my husband and I have been working on our handstands. Uh, I saw some. Right. Oh my God. You're oh, the acro, yeah, the acro, but we're trying to do, like, I mean, it's easier to do, hey, Yasmin, Yasmin, yes, it's good to see you. Um, it, it's it's easy, like, when someone's holding you up, it's sort of, an inversion's a little easier. Uh -huh. Hey, there's, but, um, you know, doing an actual handstand, it takes a little work, but we're working on it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have to be supported with a handstand, but, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, really supported, like majorly supported to five people, you know, holding me up. So, but I could get 17 out. people in a in 17 a people can make crane. Oh. <laughs> I saw a question. Somebody asked about Sam, my son, like, yes, why he isn't doing uh roly. So he did the, the role for a number of years. And you know, kids, their voices change the boys. So his voice has changed. So uh, he's still a part of it. But um, you know, his, he, out, he outgrew the role, you know? So anyhow, that that's, so I was hard. just answering that question. <laughs> that is so hard. Yeah. It's I know. hard for I, the kids, for the boys, you know? And you were actually, I thought this was so interesting. I never knew that what? you were a child actress as well in musical theater. Yes. And Up in San Francisco. you want to tell us about Eponine? Oh, yeah. So, uh, well, 
so in San Francisco, I did a lot of, uh, I performed live and with different, uh, a singing group. And I also did lots of uh, uh, kids albums and I was on a children's TV show. This is again in the Bay Area, Marin County, Nor Northern California. Um, it was like a little kid show where we would, it was called Just Kidding. And I used to interview other children and interesting. Yeah, it was really, it was so much fun. And we sang songs on it. But anyhow, but then I decided, no, I want to be like a real actor, like a stage actress. And I want to go to college and study theater. So when I graduated high school, I went to CalArts for one year. I was going to go back. I took a leave of absence and then um, worked on a cruise ship. And then I came back from this cruise ship and I, I had auditioned three times in the cattle call lines back in the old days where you would like wait all day to audition for these open calls. Yeah. And they were looking for people for the West Coast premiere of Les Miserables. Oh my God, that was my dream to play Eponine. Oh and my God. I was a little green. You know, I like, I remember I, I, when you wait like 14 hours in the cold outside and you finally get to sing at like 6.30 at night, I was so emotional that I started, like I couldn't even sing. I actually could not sing and, and I was so embarrassed because I was so excited and emotional that no song came out of me and I was so humiliated. And then they're like, you really like this role. I'm like, I love it so much. I would love to do this part. Anyhow, they had me come back two more times to see if I had matured and finally, a year into the show, it had been running in Los Angeles for a year. A year into the show, I the third time was the charm. I auditioned and I got to understudy Eponine and go on for her oh and God. play the different, um, the chorus parts as well. So yeah, that was like my, that was such a great, amazing dream to play that role. And did you dream the dream? I dreamed the dream. No, I, I, I didn't get to dream that dream, but I did, I dreamed on my own, on my own. So I, <laughs> I did that. Um, and then I was going to go with the show on the road. And then I was like, no, I need to stay in LA and do like, try to get into television. And I really wanted to get into voiceover. And so I, so I, that, yeah, I just, I decided to, to give up that show, but it was so, it was a great time of my life. So six months oh. of my life. It was wonderful. <laughs> so, That's yeah. amazing. Thank you for yeah. sharing that. Story. Thanks for asking. That's an old one. <laughs> yeah. Research. Anyhow. So what are you going to play for us next? So I was going to, again, like, um, I, I like to do fun songs, you know. I like to do the serious songs, but I also like to have fun. Oh, gosh. Um, and uh, this song was inspired. I, I don't think it, it really needs much introduction, but I do have a video on this one as well. Nice. But it's kind of like my, um, I love animals, even though I'm allergic to them. And um, sometimes I, I, I have a little bit of uh, envy in this area. So it, that, it was inspired by envy, okay? Not, not from hatred. I love, I love dogs, but it's more of like, mm, they can do things that, you know, I can't. Okay. <laughs> if I bring my own plastic bag
deep dog voice as yeah. well. I don't expect that coming out of petite little hope. That comes out of uh, voiceover classes, numerous voiceover classes and studying animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Oh, well, you went lighthearted. I think I'm going to go lighthearted too. Yeah, I think we need to. Um, you know, so back in the day before our phones were loaded with emojis and guys, thank you so much for all the emoji love, thank Chris you. and Susie and, and, and everything. Um, <laughs> Before there was emojis, when you would text someone on your flip phone, this one's not that old, but yeah. you would have to like type in the emoji. And I was dating this guy and he would text me colon and parentheses. And I was like, what is that? Like, I thought <laughs> it was boobies. I was like, why does this guy keep texting me boobies? Um, but actually, <laughs> you know, there's, so it was like, it was the less than in the three. It looks like a, and I was like, what? And um, it means a heart. And um, so I wrote this song about that and more. <laughs> less than three, less than three. You always send me text and say less than three. You know, I no longer rent space in your heart. Oh, 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 heart. Less than three. Less than three, one was makes the two of us, the two is me and it's been oh so lonely since we've been apart. Think of all the places we could have got together with you right by my side. Make them sure we stay a thousand feet from cloud cover as we soar like birds in the sky. Cause in your pipe Things look brighter. Less than three, less than three. You still sign your messages with less than three. <laughs> I no longer in space in your heart. Sweet. I love it. Yay. That's 
good one. Aww, That's clever. You. Oh, thank See, that, you. That goes with my back in my day, kind of, except now that's like even slightly past my song, you know, it's like just the next level. Yeah, yeah. less than three. Updated you don't even miss. need it, you don't even need it anymore. Yeah. I know, you don't even need it anymore. So. I still like to do a dot, dot, and a happy, and like the, you know, I, yeah. I still sometimes just feel that, you know? It's vintage. I'm it's vintage. Right. Vintage emo emojis. <laughs> it's like, it's old school. Here, look. Less than three. I don't there I we go. I typed, it, I typed it into this. Oh, there it is. Thanks. See, I don't know how to multitask what you're doing. So, okay, that's so sweet. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm I know we had planned on four. Um, that was four. What wasn't do you it? think? Do you have an encore? Wait a minute. Wasn't that four? That was I did four. four. Yeah. You, wait a minute. Wait I did a minute. four. Hold on a second. I did four. You did four. I did four. We did four. Um, yeah. Do you want to do an encore before mm -hmm. we wrap it up? We have a couple more minutes. Oh my God. I, am uh, I putting you on the spot? Why don't I well, ask you? I no, no, ask. no, no. I kind, you know, again, as we were discussing, you know, behind the scenes, um, we both have like, um, no, I could do one. I could do another. Um, I could do my song that I wrote for my dear. So when I, when I started. Dean Platten says encore. Hi, <laughs> hi, cousin David. Okay. <laughs> I, I, have, I just kind of practice it just in case. <laughs> um, so when I did Voice Actors Network, when I started it years again, I was, gosh, when was when I met you? It was like 11 years ago I started. I had this idea of, oh my gosh, I want to do like workshops, casting director workshops for working actors who, you know, working voice actors. And you were, that's where I met you. And my best friend um, used to accompany me. You remember my friend <laughs> Carol Ann? Yeah. My dearest friend Carol Ann Sushi, she'd go, I want to go just for the friendship. Like she would just go and, you know, she loved, she had that but real- she got voice. into voice, she wasn't doing voiceover at the time? Well, she, everybody was like, your voice is too gruff. She's like, this is what, you know, that's what she does. That's yeah. who she is. She's a Brooklyn girl. And um, then she got on, of course, the Big Bang Theory, which uh, my son Sam and I drove her to her audition because she didn't drive. She was a New Yorker at heart. So we drove her to her audition and her callback. So we helped her get the job of Mrs. Wallowitz on the Big Bang Theory. Anyhow, that's so, amazing. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You get credit. So I think we should get credit. Anyhow, so when she, when she passed away, sadly, um, I wrote the song about her. Okay. So not everybody's, I don't know if you, no, you have, I probably haven't heard. So I'm going to just do a song about her. Is that all right? Is that yeah, cool? That's okay. Great. Thank and you. it's, and there is like, you know, there's details about her. We, um, she was known for, she loved to cook and everything was, revolved around food. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's in the song. She was a son of a gun, a pistol of fun, a seeker of truth, never married no one. Brooklyn girl left us way too soon to go on all the rides. Don and a true blue friend, but she cast you out if you were late or canceled dinner plans. Flexibility, didn't understand. Piss her off and you get the wrath. And you didn't want the wrath. The wrath was when nothing that you said or did was right. You turned into a bully in the kitchen. What a sight it must have been. The stress or the pots and pens mess. Culinary goddess with an iron fist, you took her abuse, the food was so delish, and in the moment of feasting you forgot her grass, small price to pay for getting harassed. Well, quiet wasn't used to describe our friend with her wild black hair and chubby back end. Red lipstick smile, the voice kind of rough. A kitten inside, though she sounded more tough. She was a son of a gun, a pistol of fun. Always there to help someone. Didn't drive, was always on time. Don't be late or you get the wrath. And you didn't want the wrath. The wrath, the wrath. But nothing that you said or did was right. It must have been the stress. Or the pots and pans a mess. Cooking at her house prepared you for battle and everything seemed to make her feathers rattle and rattle like asking to add more salt or heating up bread was a fault. Well, I 
I wonder who she's giving the wrath to in heaven. A piece of her mind to Darren McGavin. Putting Julia Childs in her place. That cosmic kitchen ain't enough space. She was a son of a gun, a pistol of fun. Always there to help someone. A spiritual bunny so damn funny. Comic timing was her riff. She loved to overtip. She was a son of a gun. Oh, a son of a gun. But only brave ones could handle the wrath. Only brave ones could handle the wrath. Only as brave ones could handle the wrath. Oh, So that, that, that last bit of from Jesus Christ Superstar, that's an homage to her because she had auditioned for the movie of Jesus Christ Superstar, but she was a comedian. So of course she did it really funny. The song in there, the story is like, they loved her, but they said, you know, if it was a, if it was a, a comedy, she would have been in it, but anyhow. So yeah, anyhow. <laughs> Thank hey. you for sharing that. Thanks. All right, Allison. Um, hey, I guess I'll play us out on one last one. Bring us on home, Allison. It's funny. It was the song that I was planning to play is called Ells Field. And it was, and um, the person who inspired this song has also passed away. Oh, perfect. <laughs> like you and I are kind of tuning into mm -hmm. people we miss. Something greater. Mm -hmm. Ginger nose. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Susan. <laughs>
we lay him on the tall man yeah, Oh my god, I'm crying. That was so good. It was beautiful. Aww. Thank you, honey. Yeah. I was so like, good. Went to your eyes. And... <laughs> you I know, Harry, my glasses. When it's I take like my glasses, it's all blurry. <laughs> it's too close, the camera. I did it farther back, but I couldn't. I couldn't get it farther back, and, and you know, whatever. Yeah. So it's totally. like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I like is... your glasses. They're well, cute. They help. <laughs> uh, they're there for a reason. Yeah. It is fun. It is, um, it is a very intimate experience doing a music show uh with somebody on instagram because it's like we're just like it's you and me and the audience it's so cool it's, though it's really it's fun, fun. it keeps yeah. i mean it got my it got me playing again because i've been doing a lot of stuff on garage band i've been doing all this more like oh my yeah. god electronic kind of music i'm like going into different areas so i'm like playing a lot of other totally yeah. different stuff and recording that but my i'm kind of i'm i've been rusty you know with the playing that's a whole other thing it's right? blaming on a global pandemic, but I'm, bl yeah. I'm blaming it on right. something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, do you think we should let everybody know about our little project we have working oh. on? Oh yeah, we're, yeah. We, we're gonna do a song together, right? Great. That one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a cover, a cover. We're gonna. So, yeah, we're covering a Beatles song. Yeah. So they'll just, we'll just when we do it. A not that go, common Beatles song. I think. It's not. That's why I it's picked not it. Not that common. So I actually have never heard of it. Yeah, let's not. Right. I mean, it's an old Beatles song. So when when you post it or whatever we do, then you'll know. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I get to work with you again. Yeah. So yeah. stay tuned for that, and Hope and I will be singing together. I'm so grateful to everybody that tuned in live. Thank um, you. I know everybody. some of you are just tuning in now. We're about to sign off, but I will go ahead and post the replay right away. Okay. And um and uh yeah it'll be available you guys can can zoom through the previous songs if you miss them our guest tonight by the way is hope levy hope is a singer songwriter as well as a very very talented voice actress um interesting fact about hope levy she was the deer in uh jordan peele's academy award-winning get out yes the deer the that's on the wall uh-huh i made some or not the deer on the wall i'm sorry god look <laughs> i was the deer that got hit when they in the beginning spoiler alert if you haven't seen it so i had to make some <laughs> crazy sad crying deer sounds so that's yeah. amazing yeah, that was you know that was a challenge so <laughs> yeah well thanks for coming on the show tonight thanks Hope. for and, having uh, me allison you're welcome i adore and, you i love you you're so amazing as well your talent is just like you know incredible and thanks everybody for watching Yay. thank you guys for watching live we'll see you next week Bye. oh um oh I should mention, because this is very cool, next week's guest is Rob Paulson. Oh my god. And we're gonna have a St. Patrick's Day party, and I think we're even gonna do, uh, we might do a giveaway. So be sure to tune in next week. Rob Paulson is amazing, and if you have not read his book yet, um, it is really a tell-all, and it is so good. Um, Rob, actually one of the top voice actors of our generation, um, got throat cancer, and, um, his story is just one of such triumph. He's always been the type of person that just lights up any room and, and offers so much gratitude. And um, the book, I had a conversation with him. I was like in tears this week, just being completely inspired by him. So I hope you guys tune in next week. Cool. Wear green or don't. It's Instagram. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys tune in. The audiobook is even better, Jeff says. I, yeah, I'm reading the book book, wow. but I should get the audiobook too. Cool. So definitely check it out. Hope if you haven't yet. I will. Thank you. And um, and we'll see you guys next week for, for Rob Paulson. Aww. Bye, okay. everybody. Bye. Thank you, Hope. Bye. Thanks, Allison.